Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. Last week, or last week, what am I saying? Um, if last time, what am I, a weekly, t whatever. Last time, the insanity continued to pile on. Yuri stabbed herself, and that was, we had to sit there for the entire weekend. Watch just uncomfortable for an uncomfortably long time, just watching her decompose. Monica revealed her true colors, even though, you know, I called it. And after that, we had this really long staring contest while I fiddled around with the uh, good old local files folders. So Monica's gone, but she had a change of heart at the end and decided to bring everyone back. And now, all that's left, I guess, is to see how this plays out without her. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Oh my god. Oh, Sayori. I am so happy that she is alive. Well, there is already one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Are you proud of me? For what? You know, waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while- oh, that is so nice. Good for you. But he never said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. <laughs> I'm so happy you're alive. I'm glad you're holding up well. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Yeah, heh heh. We crossed the we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you, I'm already, I'm not... I start to say what I always do, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she st oh, she's the president now. That's awesome. When she started a club of her own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on one. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Me. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize in that, w that in a way I envy her. When she puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. That's nice. I am just really happy that she's no longer dead or deleted or anything like that. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school that I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the one Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Literature Club. <laughs> I suppose you are. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. 
He's gonna think we're really strict or something. You couldn't possibly be that strict when Sayori is your president. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. Again. I will look forward to working with you. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> it sounds like they just signed a contract or something. Working? Don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can be an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. With cupcakes? <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table. I'll get the tea. You will not get the tea, you will form them. Form them dead. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. Where Natsuki rap grab why can't I read? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen fluffy cupcakes. Or white fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. Wow, those look amazing. Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and, uh, and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <sighs> my bad. Alright, the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki is struggling to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying the tea set. I've been putting the wrong ear, or my earphone is in the wrong ear. My bad. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? I am so sick of reading that question. <laughs> if there are any more, like, time loop repeats, I am not going to be happy if I have to keep doing that part. Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission, of course she does. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess so. You're already in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, eh, that's, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Excuse me. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. What kind of things do you like to read? Ah, well... Manga... I don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. 
Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without see the, without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I've read I've had to read these lines like half a dozen times at this point, and I still can't get them straight. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. She traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Favorites are novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid for since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way that her eyes light up. I don't know. I said that last bit really weird. But she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh. Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't, don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. I already admitted to liking it. I don't know why she has to be so trepidatious. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if he wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Suki, I wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> However, it could be nice to diversify ourselves a little bit. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. <laughs> okay, so there's hopefully not going to be any stab or staticky, you know encouragements to kill each other today. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll get to know each other each other a little better too. I mean, that's kind of the thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, Mr. President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri, eh? I have to read a manga? <laughs> you know, this is a way less... Even the first iteration of this exchange was kinda heated. This is way more... cool. You're the ones who you're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Oh, hurtful. I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Start with Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure there's then it's a ah, then I am sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I have realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I will offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Ah. Would you like- Oh, they're getting a long way better now. That's awesome. No. Oh. If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sing-songy quotation exclamation point. I... The way I pronounced exclamation just a second ago, I'm pretty sure was weird. Like, my breath got caught under my tongue, and I didn't pronounce it all the way. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. <clears throat> I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? 
I think everyone likes you too. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get a little, along a little better with you around, Sayori. No kidding. Aw. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make this the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey. I really wanted to thank you. I mean it, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. Oh, things got all quiet. Uh oh. The truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> it's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. Oh, she knows. That's awesome. You are so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through hard times. And you helped all of us get along with each other. Do you get it? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. But, all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. Ah ha ha. It's kind of sad, you know? After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. Oh, don't worry. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We. We all love you. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, I hear something. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> yeah. Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and oh. not really any good at. This is what Monica sounds like. At all. But I wrote you a song. Not what I would expect. Alright, so we're at the end. I'm gonna let this song play and do my best not to talk over it. I like that it's not like 100% professionally done. She, in the best way for possible. Never mind.
What I was saying was, uh... <laughs> Never mind. made with love <laughs> so what I was trying to say in between those words the whole time that the song was playing was I like that it wasn't strictly 100% professionally or 100% professionally like sung in the best way I mean this in the best way possible but it sounded like she had only been practicing for a little while and I'm sure that was intentional obviously all right well <clears throat> To the special player who achieved this special ending, for years I have been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories that in not way possible or pff, to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend. Even when life is hard on you, some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. <laughs> if they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reasons we have a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if it's not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that first further pushes the limitless bounds of the interactive mold. I extend my true gratitude to all the players who have taken the time to achieve the full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being a part of my literature club. Club. Love, Dan Salvato. <clears throat> Alright. So, yeah, I went ahead and got the uh, best ending off screen. Or, well, I went ahead and did everything to get the best ending off screen. Because I had already recorded the other ending, and I, I was just kind of bummed out after that one. I might upload that as a bonus episode, but you'd probably be better off just looking it up to see what I mean. But yeah, this has definitely been my favorite Let's Play that I've done so far, and if it, this game had its hooks in me more than I was ever expecting it to. Like, I first kind of got the notion about it. I was like, okay, dating sim with a horror twist eventually. I was not expecting for me stopping when I did the, uh, the, uh, when Sayori's confession happened, and then I stopped for the weekend, and then started playing again. Me taking that break really let the game just kind of sit there and stew in my head for an entire weekend, just being like, ooh, can't wait to get back to this. And then when I did, god, I wasn't ready for that. That bit with Sayori at the beginning, you know, the obvious tone shift. I'm sitting here trying to dodge spoilers, even though you're at the end of a... Pl you're sitting here listening to me talk at the end of a game. <laughs> but that the tone shift with Sayori was one of the most visceral and real feelings that a game has given me in a while. And I thought it was pretty well done. Not gonna lie. There were other great parts of the game, too. Like, once the tone shifted... Once the tone actually shifted, I didn't think... I was like, there's no... I never thought that they were going to be able to 
Sayori's suicide was the peak of the game, and it'd be hard to top that. Like I said, most visceral and real feeling. Yuri's death was a worthy attempt, considering you, how long they just make you sit there and stew on it. Unless you're just like me and bumble around trying to figure out what to do like an idiot. <laughs> I'm sitting here rambling now. Alright. Anyway. Thank you all for letting me share this experience with you. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. And until next time, follow me to Apex.